Yo, how's it going, Wizheads? It's Richard Unicorn Caller, and I hope you all are having a wonderful Tuesday. Even though I'm recording this on a Monday, I just decided to do a little pre recording for you guys. Sadly, I'm not there to give you the Wiz news. I mean, honestly, there's probably nothing gonna happen on Tuesday, you know, probably like a new event and stuff like that. But for the most part, honestly, nothing really has happened with the Wizard 101, and I'm not gonna lie, this whole birthday has kind of been a letdown. Like, I, like, I don't know, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna lie with you guys, like, I felt like this birthday could have done better, but I did go into it with low expectations, and so, honestly, I wasn't really expecting much, honestly. The candlestick wands were nice, you know, I appreciate, you know, to be fair, it is their first time doing the whole account age thing, but at the same time, it really should have been something free. I mean, this wand should not cost a hundred crown. They could have easily just put a numeric value of zero. And you can just get it for free, and based on your account age, you can get it for free. They should not have charged you a hundred crowns for it. I had to do ten trivias. Ten boring, boring. They were really, the trivias on their website are really boring, right? I had to do ten boring trivias just to get this wand, and it is not, it's not even a good wand. So I like, you know, to be fair, it is their first time, you know, doing the account age. Um, hopefully next year they can make an item free. I mean, it's not really going to hurt them financially. Um, but, you know, who knows. I always say that in the videos. I, I always say that, like, nothing is going to hurt them financially. Like, if you guys don't know, Wiz makes a lot of money, right? If they gave everybody a free mount, that is not going to hurt anybody financially. It might be harder to do that. Obviously, it might be hard to do that. But I feel like throughout the years it's just been kind of getting more boring especially with Wiz. I mean Wiz is not a game I don't think is healthy to play honestly like if this is the only game that you play I honestly kind of feel bad for you I don't know there's a lot of good video games out there just I don't know take a break especially if Wiz is just kind of giving you a headache please take a break by all means there are tons of nice little cool video games out there give everything else a chance and I don't know, stop spending on, um, whiz, you know. For me, personally, I've been kind of tired. That's why I'm kind of doing this pre-recording. I know it doesn't look like it, but I literally don't get enough sleep. Like, I'll stay up till 5 or 6, then I'll wake up and do the whole process over and over again. And I try to make whiz, whiz videos in the morning, but now I feel like I can't even do Wiz videos in the morning just because I'm always staying up late seeing what the latest news is, if there's anything new, or if the data miners find anything. I don't know. It just feels like... It's, I don't know, September's a real boring month for me, um, for Wiz in general. Now, they did mention, though, on their Twitter that on their Instagram page, it's soon that they are going to be um, having some quarter main adventures, you know, Stallion quarter main. Um, he's basically one of the people we saw from the Lemuria prequest. He's basically the uh, person that's going to go on the adventures with us through Lemuria and stuff like that and find the old one. And it, it's pretty much going to be Marvel themed. I, I really have a hunch that it is Marvel themed. I mean, we've gotten a lot of, like, kind of, like, hints that it's gonna correlate to, like, heroes and stuff like that, and so, you know, I mean, I, I like it. I like, you know, I like worlds, but I like it when they're a little bit more creative than that. I don't know, just... I'm kind of tired of the whole references and pop culture references and stuff like that. I kind of miss the creativity that this game used to have. I kind of miss spell quest. Remember when each school had their own little spell quest? You had to like solo fight a boss or something like that. I still use Forest Lord to this day because Forest Lord was one of my favorite spell quests. And uh, the pet in general just... Oh, pet quest. I miss pet quest too. Pet quests were fun. I miss a lot of things in this game, man. I feel like they've gotten real bad with some of the updates. I don't know, just looking, like, if you look at the update year, you'll see, like, how much work and dedication went into some of those, like, lower years, like, some of the younger years. And then you look at it now, and it's just like, okay, well, you know, it's kind of annoying. We still don't have name change yet. We still, you know, the whole transfer character thing is kind of iffy. Not everybody is going to be able to do that, obviously. I don't know. It's just like, ah, I don't know. 
It, it, I don't know. It's just, uh, oh, change your gender. That is also something a lot of people were saying. You know, we talk about name changes. Maybe some people want to change their gender wizard one on one or just change their um, overall wizard appearance and stuff like that. A lot of you guys have awesome ideas. Like, you guys have amazing ideas. But I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be some time to uh, have some of these changes implemented in the game. Honestly, I gotta say, like, November's gonna, like, be the make or break point for most people. I think it will just make it, though. I think November's gonna be a great month for Wizard 101 in general because, of course, we're getting a new world, probably a new level cap, hopefully a new level cap, obviously. New spells or more themed spells again. Not really a big fan of the whole theme spells, honestly. But, you know, it, it's gonna be a great month. A lot of people are gonna come back in the game, log back in, get, like, a one-month membership. At least this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a one-month membership for myself. I'm just gonna get one month and uh, basically just, uh, whatchamacallit, just quest through Lemuria. Actually, I pro I might buy Nicole a one month membership though. I might just buy her a one month membership so we can quest together. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I mean, that's pretty much all I do. And then after I beat Lemuria, maybe a solo quest, I might have to solo quest and honestly, but after I beat Lemuria though, I'll probably just farm for gear and you know, just, <laughs> that's that's pretty much it, honestly. Like I said, when it comes to this game, there really isn't much, like, I don't know, for me personally, there's not much replayability. I don't know, like, I'm not the type of person, I know everybody tells me this all the time, I see in the comments, be like, you should do a walkthrough. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, no, I do not have the mental energy to even make another character then buy memberships for it or you know buy crown whatever you want to do it but buy memberships for it quest through wizard city all the way to caramel i would exhaust my i can't i cannot do that unless i get like a level 100 free elixir which doesn't even exist but unless i get like a free level 100 elixir then I'd probably think about it. But even if I had a level 50 elixir just to bypass some of those worlds to like uh, Celestia or Dragon Spire, I still wouldn't even play on that character. Just because I spent so much and like look at my character. Like look at my wizard character. This is my boy Richard Unicorn Caller. I have spent so much money, so much time and so much love on this singular character. You know how hard it is to get, you know how long it took me, you know how hard it is to get the decathlon gauntlets, the beast moon drip, and the dreads. I had to spend money just to get this hairstyle because obviously everything's made out of money now. But this took me a while and I do not want to do any of that on another character because I feel like I would have a passion for another character. But then again, my only love and passion is with Richard Unicorn Color. I basically grew up with this character. And so I know a lot of people tell me, like, you should do a walkthrough, man. You get so many views, bro. Well, I'd watch you. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I just, I don't want to do, like, a fire or ice walkthrough. I just... Oh, I could never. I could never do that. I mean, honestly, if you guys want to do it yourself, like, if you want to make your own walkthrough, by all means, do it. I just would not have the energy, like, the mental energy just to quest again. Like, I don't know. When it comes to Wizard 101, it's kind of like a one-and-done type of thing. Even during the free Wizard City and free Crocotopia trial, I still did not want to even play Wizard 101 on my other characters just to quest through Crocotopia. That's how bored I am with this video game. That is how bored I am. I literally do not have the energy even for a free weekend. They can make the first arc free. They can make like the first arc free and I still would not quest on my other characters. That is how much I do not care for this game at all. Like literally no energy. No energy whatsoever. And I feel like a lot of people also have that same energy with this game as well. You know, honestly... Me and Wizard 101 are tight, you know? It feels like I'm dating Wizard 101. But in a relationship, Wizard 101 and me is kind of imbalanced because I'm giving Wizard 101 100%, but I feel like Wizard 101 isn't really giving me 100% in the relationship. They're just kind of giving me like 25% or something like that. I'm basically carrying the relationship. Anyway, that ends my rant. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, whatever happens on Tuesday. And I'll see you guys later, and peace out.